Hey, what's going on, guys? We're going to talk about Jeffrey Owens, the uh, dude that was job shame last year. Also, this new movie that I caught, you got to see. It's called Polar on Netflix and Cardi B. She's back at it. I do that thing that she does, but I can't do it. <laughs> All right, good evening, good morning, good afternoon. What's going on? Thanks for checking out the Less Than Zero podcast. Uh, before we do anything, man, do me a favor if you could. I appreciate you if you hit that subscribe button. Also, comment below anything you think that you uh, need to work on, maybe some things that you like, maybe certain stories or things that you want me to talk about. I want to hear about it. Let's talk about Jeffrey Owens. If you don't know who he is, Jeffrey Owens was on that hit. Uh, it's a classic, legendary show, man, The Cosby Show in the 80s and 90s. Um, he was job shamed last year. You may have heard about this story for working at Trader Joe's. And, you know, I'm not going to – I don't want to sound preachy, and I, I'm not your dad, way too young for that. But, you know, I, I do want to say that there's nothing wrong with hard work. So to be job shamed for having an honest job and trying to make an honest living um, really uh, confuses me. You know what I mean? I really didn't get that. You know, just because he's an actor doesn't mean that things last forever. And he even said himself that – you know, he came to a, you know, there was a time and place where he needed to make some extra money and he wanted to stay in acting. So you got to do what you got to do. But you know what? There's a silver lining to this. Over the weekend, he was at the Screen Actors Guild Award, the SAG, uh, the SAG Awards, and uh, he got a standing ovation. Check it out. So somewhere in the middle of the road of my life, I found myself in the dark wood of unemployment and debt. But instead of switching careers like the same person, I took a job at a local Trader Joe's to see if I could hang in there with my career. And um, it's actually worked out pretty well. See, that's what I'm talking about, man. It's all about that positive energy. It's all about the positive vibes. Even in... Even when he was getting job shame, man, he was proud. He had he had his uh he held his head up high and uh yeah, shout out to Jeffrey Owens. By the way, the dude is smart, man. I mean, he went to Yale University. Um, and also I just heard that he landed a role on the Have and Have Nots, a show co coming out with Tyler Perry, and he landed a couple more roles coming up here in the next year or two. So you're gonna see a lot more of Jeffrey Owens. Curious, what side jobs have you had, or maybe what side jobs are you doing right now? Comment below. Once again, shout out to Jeffrey Owens. So if you know me at all, you know that I love movies. I love movies. Like, I freaking love movies. Uh, Netflix has this new movie that dropped recently. It's called Polar. I'll repeat it again. It's called Polar. You got to check it out. It's very, I'm going to tell you right now, man. It's very extra. It's very gory. It's very violent. I love it. It's very Quentin Tarantino-esque. It reminds me of, um, it reminds me of The Professional back in the 90s. Classic classic movie if you've never seen the professional i highly suggest you checking it out but yeah man it's called polar uh real quick it's about an assassin the dude is a badass right and at the age of 50 he retires he's getting ready to retire and the organization that he works for is super crooked and they're supposed to pay him out like millions of dollars except the loophole is that if he gets killed before he turns 50 before his birthday the organization doesn't need to pay him out all these millions of dollars so what do you think happens Exactly. Check out this clip, man. Polo on Netflix. This is a bad idea. Dang. Where the hell is he? Somebody set me up over here. You better You have nothing to do with it. Vanessa Hutchins is in it. I forgot to mention that. And uh, yes, yeah, super dope performance. Uh, Johnny Knoxville. Uh, originally from Jackass, he's in it. And um, do me a solid. If you check out Polar, after you check it out, comment. Comment below. Let me know what you thought about it, okay? Once again, Polar on Netflix. What can you say about Cardi B that we don't already know, man? She's winning. Cardi B is winning with a capital W. Uh, over the weekend, she recently performed at the AVN Awards. By the way, from what I understand, uh, she is the youngest and first female to perform at these awards. The AVN Awards are the uh, Adult Video News Awards, which is it's like the Oscars for adult porn. I like that. I like that. Oh, and by the way, Cardi B, in case you haven't heard, uh, she announced it on her Instagram story recently that she just uh, locked down a residency in Vegas, which is, like, super hard to do. Like, Cardi B's only been in the game for, what, like, less than two years? 
She has a residency now in Las Vegas. Lady Gaga has one. The word is Drake is about to make an announcement soon. So that would make them two of the youngest to lock down residencies in uh, Las Vegas. And you, know, you got to think, and don't get me wrong, I love Nicki Minaj, uh, but you know the whole beef between Nicki and Cardi, you know Nicki's hating, like a lot. And like always, hit that subscribe button. I appreciate you. Comment below. I want to hear the good. I want to hear the bad. I want to hear it all. All right? Till next time. Mm -hmm.